All right, we're starting this over. <laughs> Because this is tragic. All right, so we've got the Logitech 3D Stream Pro. We've got the um, Thrustmaster. And it's not tragic because of the sticks. It's tragic because of me. Uh, wow. I'm going to fly the warden this time because that hurt. Before we do that, let's talk about the, where you can get these controls and uh, why you might want them. Whew, that, was, that was exciting and crazy all at the same time. Don't even know what I'm talking about, and that's okay. So let's uh, go into our. Uh, where is it? Um, there we go. All right, so we've got the controls right here. Uh, on the Survivor Hero page, you can click on this first button, and uh, this will download this particular setup. It will, uh, we've got the, it's got separate PDFs that are specific for it, and I'm gonna go over what those say. Uh, if you're looking for just the Logitech host SAS, you can do this, two right sticks, or, or two Logitechs, uh, a host SAM, a left stick, and a mouse, or just a right stick. Same thing we have for the uh, Thrustmasters, but I also have it set up for the throttle here. Uh, either HOTAM, HOTAS, host SAM, or host SAS, and then, Hands on stick, hands on throttle and stick, and hands on stick and stick. So, what does that all mean? Well, my friends, that means that. I think I'm going to like this one better. Yeah, okay. So, the hands on stick and stick is the way I prefer to fly personally. Uh, some people, there's a ho, hands on throttle, stick and stick, hot sass, and um, if you're a space trucker, maybe, but the way they've changed the controls to work with mouse and keyboard, I don't really think it's necessary. Um, this setup here, we'll go over the controls real fast. Uh, let's do the throttle first. So for the throttle, we've got our triggers, the boost, and the thumb is the brake. Okay. I'll give you, a, again, once again, let's, oop. All right. <laughs> uh... I apologize. This is, uh, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. That's the best way to put it. So let's turn that off. Okay. So thumb right here, that is going to be your, your space break. And so I have these all laid out here for you. Triggers your boost, break, strafe down, strafe up. I put the strafe up here because you can use it more often. Now on the left, six buttons here. Uh, and the Logitech, we use the left six as well. Request landings, the outside. So call ATC. Then we've got the middle button of change your configuration. So if you've got a Corsair, bring the wings up or down or the whole C. And then this inner one here is to do VTOL or your master mode. Go in and out. So um, those these are assigned together. So your VTOL and your landing gear. I why did I say master mode? VTOL and landing gear, go in and out. Master mode is this one over here, and I'll show you, we can turn that on and off and go to nav mode, master mode. You've got your launch noise in the middle because we don't want to do that as much, so I threw it in the middle so we know which one it is, and then decoys right here. On this particular page, it says panic launch, but on the, the other one, it will. this is blank, and then we've got quantum and scanning mode. And that is because on the Logitech, is panic launch right up here so the only thing we haven't covered now real quick is twist on here is strafe up and down uh, you can turn it off default for a hosam setup there we go default for a hosam setup is going to be uh, roll because a mouse doesn't have roll it's designed to work with the throttle your mouse still does everything else on hosam now hands on stick is the mouse replacement the hos and that's um, basically everything you need to know. Forward is forward, strafe left, strafe right, roll, and then you get your strafe up and down buttons. Now let's go to the Logitech. Now the Logitech, we'll just stay at the screen because I think it's a little easier. Uh, we have trigger for group one, thumb group two. If you want to get a button back, change this to fire all. The speed limiter is the up and down, as well as changing mining energy, scanning, uh, distance, radar distance, things like that, your angles. 
you do it there. Uh, even bomb HUD, you know, what's your range for dropping the bomb. Left is cycle missile type, right is increased number of missiles. Now I did set right on mine as well, not in the one I uploaded, but my personal one I'm using is to staggered fire, and then on the left it cycles gimbals. In master mode this doesn't do a thing, because gimbals are just on. Um, I don't know why that is, but it is. I tried pressing the button on the keyboard to turn gimbals and rotate through them, I couldn't, so. Okay, uh, we've got the, oops, I'll just do it like this. Top button is target, bottom button, the uh, bottom button. The bottom is the unlock. So uh, target, unlock, so lock, unlock, lock, unlock. Then panic fire and missiles. So missile, panic, that's your decoys and your um, noise, that that preset you're going to go through your decoys really fast using these goes through them much slower and uh, yeah fire fire then down here you have some additional targeting so you've got nearest hostile nearest attacker nearest friendly for when you need that and then on the outside we have things to control the ship so open doors close doors let's toggle lock doors unlock doors and lock ports unlock ports so it's not in soft death and that's it. And then back is the mining laser and whatnot. Now back here, I set for zoom. Zoom. And now that we know the controls, uh, and turrets follow very, very similar, I'm going to let you explore a little bit that on your own. But let's do a little combat uh, test where I'm not going to have to fight as much. Rather, check out, I'm trying to say, let's check out master mode in free flight. And yeah, we'll use Gladius. I am getting very attached to this warden though. That was that was pretty cool. Uh, huh. You know, I'm gonna choose the Buccaneer for this one because there's a thing I want to show you with the power. So yeah, I can change this in a minute. All right, so you can see right now. Uh, what we can do, we've got set for the power triangle. If we go to power here, if I use the hat, I can switch these around really easy. Now also, I set it for the keyboard to do the same thing. So if you do want to use a host SAS, or host SAM, hands-on stick and mouse, you can still get all this fast stuff. So one, I set for weapons, two, I set for shields, three, engines, four is a reset. And then if you do, well, let's see what you can see what I'm doing. If we do cycle the shield power, so uh, if you use your numpad, you can then change the number of shields. So if I press bottom on the numpad, I'm putting more power to the rear. It's taking power from the front. Uh, I don't think this is working quite directly because it's like killing the total power. But you can see how much shield power I'm supposed to have. But then if I want to just reset it, I press down. I'm just like resetting the power triangle. But I am going to want to charge up the shields again because, <laughs> yeah. Um, the other thing is if you hold reset, it will ping. Very helpful. Very helpful, in my opinion. Uh, okay, so then we've got boost. Check this out. Go boost. For those who have not seen this ship, boosting. And then I'm going to hold the brake. And it's going to use the boosting is using the brake here too. I'm holding space brake and it's using space brake to stop me. All right, so, and strafe up and down. So it looks like I'm strafing down if I go this way. You could reverse that if you'd like to, but I don't think it really matters for right and left. And forward, I have this actually reversed properly. So when I press forward, it goes forward. When I go back, it goes back and the buttons on the joystick up for my corkscrew. So for those who don't know, you strafe up and you roll the corkscrewing, add a little bit of forward thrust, and you've got a corkscrew. And uh, yeah, so I my <laughs> it's kind of weird for me because this this is my roll normally, and in, in standard configurations it's yaw. So for this joystick twist is roll and uh, yaw is your right and your left turn 
and then you can initiate a turn and yaw or roll and yaw or roll then yaw so let's get a station in mind so we can see this get some perspective here all right so we're going forward oh again gotta get used to my these controls again okay so uh, I'm rolling I'm gonna just strafe down a bit so I miss this and twisting twisting and I want to yaw so I'll go that way go that way yeah so nice and easy it's a, g a nice gingerly flight and then we're gonna use SEM to go a little quicker and to back up so what about master modes because yeah we could let's go fast right now we're capping out at uh, 239 that's the highest that's the green right there you can see the little triangle there is not going any higher than the green if I boost I could probably go yeah let me briefly I can go higher then I'm gonna lose some boost so let's um, let's do swap over left and you can see right here on the screen actually let's just go sorry guys I'm, I wanted this one right here <laughs> here I'm trying to show you the wrong thing so nav mode is right up there so now we're in nav mode if you can see our shields down here our shield power is really low or actually it's off but I'm able to go let's go full SEM Ooh, look at that nice and fast cool all right so I'm gonna thrust I use boost to go the opposite direction slow myself down all right let's turn that boat uh, off now we're back in SEM mode a couple of will bring me back down to where I need to be and the other thing I was going to change here is power. So in the Buccaneer, we've got the Mantis, a ballistic, another ballistic, and a Rhino. The Rhino's the, this big gun on the top, size 4, but it's gimbaled, I think. Or turreted. Maybe not. Uh, I forget now. Okay. It's probably fixed, actually. Uh, then he's got two Bulldogs, which are size 1 lasers. So we've got three lasers and two ballistics, but the Rhino and, and the Mantis are put together, which is... You know, here's my light bulldogs getting heated. Put some attrition's on there and gets more power because they heat up. And then you can just boom, Rhino. That's just a kill. That's your kill shot. Your heavy guns are on the trigger. But I personally like all my lasers on one and then my ballistics on another because I like to save my ballistics as much as possible. So I'm going to go to weapons, power, weapons. Where's my weapons? Oh, they're in the bottom. Okay. And all right, let's try this again. Do do go to guns and change uh the rhino to a one. That's gonna put it on my thumb. So now I have though and then my trigger is the ballistics. But that's not quite I want my trigger to be my ones I want to fire, the laser, so I'm just gonna switch all of these. So all the zeros are now all the Is that right? Uh, no, I did that wrong. There we go. Now all my lasers fire, and then my thumb gets my ballistics. And then all of them together. So just something you can do uh, if you, for those who don't know, uh, for new players, that's a very helpful thing to do. And then um, I'm not sure if I covered on this recording or not, but we've got our, our open doors I uh, don't have anything open here. Lock doors, unlock and lock ports. That lets you take off your accessories without ship being dead, uh, like taking your shields out and things like that. Then on the inside, nearest attacker, nearest hostile, nearest attacker, nearest friendly. And then over here, uh, for this particular setup, these right two I set for quantum and I set for nav, so or uh, scanning. So if I go to scanning mode. This is scanning, and then I can target something, and I can hold the trigger, and it will scan. If I want to increase my angle, I just use the, uh, it's like a mouse wheel, but I got to just press it multiple times. 
and I can set my scanning zone here like that. So I could scan from there, or now I can scan from here. So if I was in mining mode, I could do the same thing. And then if I switch out of scanning mode, which is this button, there we go. Turn on quantum drive, which is not working in master mode. Well, maybe it is, and I just didn't get the binding done. All right, uh, anyway, I had quantum drive here and then hold for activate. And then um, panic launch is over here, so we don't do that. That leaves this open, the closest, and then these three are open for you. So you can play how you like. And I have this again for zoom. So you can zoom in just by flipping this switch. Like, oh, I want to be really close. I want to be far away. Close, far away. All right, that's pretty much the control setup. Let's get into combat real quick and uh, take a look what it looks like because it is a little crazy in Vandal Swarm. And I have I tried to do this a few times while doing the the master mode and it was not easy. All right, so let's go, let's do offline and we're gonna go into endless Vandal Swarm. I understand. Uh, the Warden is the tankiest ship and feel free to judge me, I will do my best, but this is actually really intense. Um, we are in SCM mode, it looks like Everything is going, let's accept. I'm gonna just try to do the best I can to survive. All right, nearest attacker. This guy here. All right, one down. Who's my next? Right, I'm gonna go for this dude. All right, there's the next one. There's the next one. Shields max. Uh, I'm gonna have to eyeball most of these, just like looking for the targets because there's so many. Just you want to just just have to trust magician here. And. For this, I actually rebound uh, nearest to um, my unlock, so I double tap it and I actually get my nearest target. All right, full power to weapons. That guy's too far away. That's why I don't want to fight him. Uh, which, which one do I use? Okay, um, where is my next guy? He's directly above me. All right. Turn on missile mode by accident. All right, so there, can I get it, can I get it? Yeah, okay, cool. This is actually really fun. There's just so many targets, it's almost, it is overwhelming. If there's one more person in, in here, it makes it a lot less insane. Kill, kill, kill. I'm literally just gonna, I can practically just hold down If I can find a, a repair thing, I might actually survive this sortie, but I don't know if I will. Ammo low. There we go. Get this and I'll live. I mean, I love the Warden. It is such a killer ship, literally. Okay, let's uh, 
I like heavy fighters though. Master modes are definitely gonna bring heavy fighters back in the game. I'd like to see what happens with the saber. It used to be such an amazing ship and it just, it was like the best ship and then they killed it, so. Oh, ammo depleted. Hey buddy, wanna say hello? I know you do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These are not my normal controls, so please don't judge me too harshly. Uh, let's go to... I'm going for this guy, darn it. <laughs> All right, shield's down. Uh, we're gonna thrust and maybe we can find a, aha, there it is, that's what we're looking for. That's right, leave me alone. I just wanna, aha, I lived. All right, now back in the fight. Oh, he's gonna joust me. We'll take the ammo here though, cause we're, <laughs> ooh, we're full now. Got a full set of, use all my guns. Come on. The Gatling gun's acting a little weird. Um, it's like after, it needs to spin up a little bit. Oh, someone else got the thing there. Well, that was fun. Uh, yeah, I hope you get the point. Um, that's the controls, and I think we're good.